Picture, if you can, an island of the 6th century, an emerald corner of the Emerald Isle, where, but for the intrusion of St. Kevin, a saintly mortal, nature herself reigned unchallenged. Such an earthly paradise was Glendalough, Glen of the Two Lakes, which today is still eloquent of its former glory. We're just in time to see the boat leaving the upper loch for St. Kevin's bed, the hermit's cave, where it is said a young woman enamoured of the holy man once visited him, only to meet with his displeasure. Indeed, he would have none of her and pushed her into the water. Through the glen runs the river Glen Elo, which divides the upper lake from the lower, a shallow expanse of water as chock full of grasses as it is of memories. Fringing the lakes are the ruins of the seven churches founded by St. Kevin, who died in 618. The round tower is one of the finest specimens in Ireland. St. Kevin's church is supposed to have been originally the saint's kitchen. The ruins of the monastery, or St. Saviour's church as it's sometimes called, are a permanent joy to the archaeologist. They are just 13 centuries old. Of particular interest is the beautifully decorated chancel arch. With this and the uncompleted massive granite cross, the St. Kevin remains form the most striking monument of its kind in the whole of Ireland. 